All right, in this video, we want to look at doing some more application problems with uh, angle measures and especially rotations. So let's look at this first example. A gear rotates 72 degrees each second. So how many rotations will it make each minute? Now, one of the easiest ways to do this is to do what's called dimensional analysis. You may remember this from chemistry. Uh, it's a great way to do any kind of conversion from uh, one unit to another unit, as long as you know uh, what the conversions are. So, for example, if we start with this one, it makes 72 degrees for every second. So we just set it up like this. And actually, we want to extend this guy a little bit like that. And so basically, we're just going to be doing a bunch of multiplication using conversion rates. All right, so how many rotations does it make each minute? Okay, so we need to convert seconds to minutes and the degrees to the rotations, right? So we know that for every one rotation, the gear would have to go through 360 degrees, all right? Now, I could have said 360 degrees in the numerator over one rotation because those guys are going to be equivalent. However, we want to make sure that the units here are going to line up in such a way that they can be reduced, just like you would reduce a common factor. Likewise, we're trying to get rid of seconds and turn it into minutes. Now, the conversion that we know is that for every minute, we have 60 seconds. If I write one minute to 60 seconds, that is a true conversion. However, you'll notice that the units of seconds will not reduce. So this is a very you know, useless way of doing that. Instead, you want to write it like this, 60 seconds for every one minute. It's the same rate that we had before, except now seconds in the denominator will reduce with seconds in the numerator. And then the rest of this is just, really, you can use the calculator, but some of the stuff you can actually simplify, right? Because 60 goes into 60 and 360, so it does it once and six times. And then six goes into 72 12 times. So the answer is not just 12, but look at your units. What units are left in the numerator? Rotations. What's in the denominator? Minute. So that means that this gear would rotate, would have 12 rotations for every minute. Now, if you don't believe what I have here, you can always go to the calculator, right? And this is what I would type in. I would do I've got 72 times 60, and I've got divided by 360. I don't need to worry about the ones because multiplying or dividing by one doesn't do anything. So 72 times 60 divided by 360. I get 12. What do you know? In this next example, we have a bicycle wheel that makes 200 revolutions per minute. How many revolutions does it make per second? So we can do the same thing we did in the last problem. So start off by writing this. We have 200 revolutions per minute. And we want to go to per second. So we still have revolutions, so we don't need to worry about changing that, but we've got to change the minutes into seconds. So we know that 60 seconds and a minute are the same thing. We just have to make sure we put these guys in the right spot so that the unit of minutes will reduce. So for every one minute, we have 60 seconds. Minutes will reduce. And we end up with 200 over 60. I always like to do my simplifying so I can reduce that. We end up with 20 over 60, which is 10 over 3. So we could say 10 thirds revolutions per second, or we could say that it's going to make three and a third revolutions per second. Either way is going to be the same thing. If you're doing this in my math, make sure you read the instructions so you know how they want their answer. All right, so in our last problem, we have a carousel, and it makes four revolutions per minute. Through how many degrees does a point on it go each second. Okay, so imagine you've got a point on a carousel. Now this carousel is making four revolutions per minute, but we want to know like how many degrees is that point going through um, in terms of rotating each second. So let's start with what we're given. We have four 
revolutions per minute. Now I want to go from revolutions to degrees. So let's start there. So for every one revolution, we have 360 degrees. So I needed revolutions to reduce, so revolutions needs to be on the bottom. Every one revolution is 360 degrees. Okay? Revolutions are gone. And you go from minutes to seconds. So again, 60 seconds per one minute. I need the minutes to reduce, so I need the minute in the numerator. So one minute to 60 seconds. And now the minutes reduce. All right, let's see if there's any simplifying I can do. So 60 goes into 366 times. Uh, and that's it. So we end up with 4 times 6 is 24. The units that we have left in the numerator is degrees. And in the denominator, we have the unit of seconds. So that means that if you're just standing on the carousel for every second, you're going to be going through an arc that's going to map out 24 degrees. And there we go.